I'll be showing you how to use the new Swift control panel. This control panel is fitted in 2019 and onwards caravans. It's all touchscreen and really easy to use. We'll start with the status bar up at the top of the screen. So we've got 20 degrees on the left hand side, that's where we'll start. And that shows us the internal temperature in the caravan. Next to it is the external temperature, humidity, time and date. The sun shows that we're using solar panel power. The lightning symbol shows that we're on mains and the L with the battery next to it, that's the leisure battery status. In terms of basic use of the panel, on the left hand side we've got the pump icon. It's lit up at the moment, so if I turn it off it goes dim and back on it goes light. Now that's the same for all the icons on this screen. If it's light it means it's on. Awning light turns the awning light on. Lighting takes us into the interior lighting menu. Now most of the lights have got their own individual switches, however there's two dimmer lights, some at the back and some at the front, and we operate those off of this panel. So we just press the off button and they will turn on. You can dim them using the plus and the minus, so they get dimmer. Turn them off, just press in the middle. The home symbol takes us back to the main screen. The power button, that takes us into the power settings. So we can see on the left hand side we've got the battery status. Middle is a solar panel status and on the far right hand side if we had a vehicle plugged in that would be the status of the vehicle battery. If we press this arrow here this is really useful. So this tells us how many amps we're drawing in total. If you're on a 10 amp site or a 6 amp site so you're limited on power, you can keep an eye on what you're using and you can also set a limit so that if you want to set it to 10 amps, if you're on a 10 amp site, you won't go over that amount of electric. Just press the back button to go back. Selected battery down the bottom is for if you're in a motorhome. If you are using this panel in a motorhome, you can select the battery so to be the vehicle battery so that you're seeing the status of that as well. Press the home button to go back. Heating we're not going to come on to on this video. You can set the heating system up to work off of this panel, but most Swift caravans, if not all caravans, have their own systems fitted, such as the Truma or the Audi heating system, and it's much easier just to use the control panels for the system. Settings we'll come to in a moment. The radio is all inbuilt into the caravan, so you don't see a physical radio, it's all controlled off of this screen here. Mode up at the top is how we select our setting. So that's FM, DAB. We need to pick the ensemble, which is the area. So you've got DAB national, which is just the national DAB channels. Then you can pick, for example, Derbyshire or Nottinghamshire, and you can pick up, for example, BBC Radio Derby and Nottingham. Then auxiliary, which is the auxiliary plug-in. And then off back home with the home button. Fridge, so we can actually set the Dometic fridge up on this system. So we've got automatic, which is the auto mode for the fridge, gas, vehicle battery, and mains. The setting is how high you want it. So the higher it is, the colder it gets. And it tells us the status of the fridge on here. So we see the temperature is warm at the moment. This fridge hasn't been on in this caravan.